Technomancer for zero point fuel. I have this thing configured, uh, it's set up, and I wanted to go over a couple things. Uh, I'm going to have to make some changes to it, but I am getting uh, about a 500 milliamp anomaly that is over what's, what's being input and what's being consumed. So I'm going to show you that, and I'm going to build a one-to-one -one out of this, which is just flybacks. And I'm going to hook it up to the generator on the small motor. <coughs> I'm going to hook it up on the generator on the small motor to see if I can get the regen process at Properta that Thane Hines proposed in his experiments that he was getting. So it's the same experiment, but it's being used in a different way, which this should, if it's hooked to the generator output in AC on a one-to-one, -one, if I'm wrapping this and get 12 volts out of the primary, I should be able to pull 12 volts out of the secondaries without um, consuming the amperage that's drawn down the generator. So I want to run that test but I wanted to show you where this was because I've got so many things going on that I've let go I've really got to take a few days to to get caught up on other things other than this equipment but I want to go over this with you guys and show you what's happening so first off the first thing is I'm going to use this um, you can hear this the buzz now when I push down right here it's not getting a good connection right there. I'm losing energy due to that connection. So that's the first thing. Now what I have is this little motor here draws about two amps on startup. It's a motor out of a cart, uh, uh, electric scooter. I'm using an inverter board. I'm converting it to 120, which is running the primary. Now right now, this is reading the consumption of the amps out of the battery. So we'll start with that. When I turn this on, watch. 1.5, roughly about 1.5, 1.7. So it'll get to about 1.7, right? So that's reading 1.7 amps that's being drawn off here. Now, show you this, make sure this is zeroed, now 1.59 amps, 1.6 amps from the motor, okay? So the motor's drawn almost what is being drawn from the battery. Now here's the kicker, when I unplug the motor, here the change. Now, this is what's actually about 1.5, 1.49, right, is being consumed, I think, from the loss here. But if you add this, this is at 12 volts, all these calculations. So 1.4, say 1.4 here, and what was actually being drawn through the motor means that I'm getting four to five hundred milliamps over. Let me turn this off. I'm getting four or five hundred milliamps more than I'm generating from the battery. Now that's not a lot, and that's actually in the realm of uh, these meters just not working right, or you know, it's it's not this huge number. But I think that's all due to this not being welded together properly and connected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this and wind a one to one and try this to see if it improves the performance. Now I even got a little issues with this. I'm looking for, I've got flybacks everywhere so I'm going to have to see if I can find a couple better ones. They're cut on the ends and this is where the energy should flow across in this loop so that it avoids the primary well 
in, in a perfect world, what I would want is two of these, and then the primary would sit on top of this with the cut, which means the energy would be able to flow completely past the primary. Now I'm got to try to see if I can find a part to do that, and if I can, that's going to make this work, the chances of this working greater than the one I have right here. The nice thing about this is I can wrap the coils and I can pop them on and off of this. So I can run a lot more tests. This is a lot more hardwired. So I'll have to see. I, I, if this works, I should be able to get it to work on the generator the way Thane predicts it will work. And uh, there are a, a couple different configurations, and I will be going over all of them in this for you guys. So there are different ways to get this result that right now I can't verify it. I can say that it looks like it works, but I haven't proven it beyond a shadow of a doubt that it does do what we say. Now, you know, if I bolt this, if I run a screws down through that and bolt that tight that might work and then again it might mess it all up so I really want to know which way to proceed here before I move forward but this one's done I can make changes on it there's a couple other variations that I want to build but now this I'm gonna slow down at what I'm doing with you guys because I have other things that has to be done and I've put them off as long as I can. And it's going to take me probably a week or two to get it straightened out. So I'm going to have to take a break, make some money, then I can come back and fiddle in the basement. I, in a perfect world, if I had enough funds, I wouldn't have to do these kind of things, but that's just the way the world works, so I can't help that. But basically that's it. We'll fire it up again for you here and plug this in. Now that's really a, a 24 volt motor, so it's not a 48 or a 12 volt motor, so that's why it doesn't run as fast. 1.7. Fifty. One point nine eight two. Well, that's because it's not a little spinning, but there we go. One point seven. So there you go. We're talking about four or five hundred milliamps. That is unaccounted for at this point with this crappy design that is just barely working and it's not it's not working the way it should be working but it is showing an anomaly this is technomancer for zero point fuel signing out